Christmas and Halloween are definitely the biggest money makers when it comes to print on demand products that are going to sell like crazy. But in only creating for those two holidays, some people are completely missing out on all of the other small holidays that are also really big money makers. Two of the ones that I see a lot of people not even taking the time for are Valentine's Day and St. Patrick's Day. But if you create a winning best-selling design in one of those holidays, you can sell hundreds and hundreds of products and make thousands of dollars in profit just around that singular holiday. That's why I always recommend that you're creating for at least several different events or holidays every single month in print on demand. Today, I'm actually going to walk you through step-by-step -step how to create a best-selling St. Patrick's Day product for your Etsy shop, but you also could take these same ideas and put them on Amazon, Redbubble, TeePublic, or any other place you are selling print-on-demand products. We are both going to create a best-selling St. Patrick's Day mug as well as a wine tumbler. Because I like my Etsy store to be almost 100% passive, I actually have integrated it with Printify, who is my print production partner that is going to connect me with any manufacturer who I want to sell a product from. So if I want a specific mug or a specific wine tumbler, Printify is going to present me with all of the different manufacturers who make their product. And then since they're linked to my Etsy account, anytime I receive an order on Etsy, Printify is doing everything to fulfill that order for me. Printify is actually the sponsor of today's video, which I'm so excited about because I truly do love and use them for all of my own Etsy shops and I think they're just a wonderful production partner. Their turnaround time is so fast. Their prices are the lowest that I have personally seen on almost any product, shirts, mugs, tumblers, hats, you name it. I can almost always find the best prices and quality on Printify so I think they are an amazing partner for you if you are going to sell on Etsy and I will link an entire tutorial I have with exactly how to link your Etsy shop with Printify if you don't how to do that, make sure you watch that video. But let's go ahead and jump into this best selling St. Patrick's Day design that we're going to create. All right, so now I am logged into Printify, which if you don't have an account already, make sure you make one down in the description. It's totally free to get started. And then I want to go and take a look at which mug we're going to start with. So I'm gonna go over to their catalog and go over to Home and Living so I can find mugs. I'm thinking I do wanna do something a little bit fun that's going to help us stand out. So they definitely have really great prices for just your standard mugs. You see they even have mason jars over here. But what I think I'm going to want to do is actually one of these color changing mugs. That's really just gonna help us stand out a little bit. So this is a great one. And as you can see, you put your design on it and then as it gets hot, your picture is going to reveal itself. So it's a really fun novelty that a lot of people like. And I think it would help us just stand out a little bit in this mug category that can be pretty saturated. I'm gonna go ahead and push start designing so we can find out what dimensions we're going to need. What I love is on Printify, if you look right here, they have a download, which is going to just go ahead and download the template for designing your product. But you also can just look right here and create a canvas that's going to be exactly that size. All right, so I headed over to Canva and I'm just going to create a product that is going to be the exact size that it said that it needed and then create that new design. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and upload that template that Printify is going to give us. We are gonna to need to create an item that is this full size, but notice that the safe area here is where things might get cut off. So if you are gonna use text, make sure it's not going beyond that green border. I'm just gonna delete all of that and then we will work with this. But before we get started on our design, I want to figure out what is a good trending phrase or niche that we can put on this St. Patrick's Day design. So I'm actually going to go ahead and head over to Sale Samurai to do a little bit of research. All right, so I am in Sale Samurai and I just went over to search and we are just going to do a basic search for a St. Patrick's Day mug or a color changing St. Patrick's Day mug to see what might sell well. And this research can also help us with the wine tumbler as well because a lot of times drinking items have the same kinds of phrases and niches that will go on both of them. All right, so it already it seems like there is not very much competition in this, but also since it's so low, it's not giving us any information on the click-through rate. Let's look at funny St. Patrick's Day mug. All right, so for funny St. Patrick's Day mug, we can see that it has a 37 search volume per month and it has a click-through rate of almost 8% 
and just under 2,000 different products, which is actually pretty good for something like this. So let's look here at some of the keywords people are using, and then we can actually go down here and see what people are doing. So this shut up liver, you're fine. That might be good on a wine tumbler or a mug. And then this one is cute. My coffee is also Irish. I think that could be a really great one for this color changing mug. So let's design something for that phrase. Let's take a look at those details here. This gives us some good insight about how many people are visiting this listing and what kind of information they are using. I like that it's showing that the Google competition for this is low, so it is something that we could potentially stand out in. All right, so I headed back over to Canva and I'm gonna go ahead and start working on this design that's going to say my coffee is also Irish. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and change the font here. Add some graphical elements. All right, so when I'm happy with that, I'm actually gonna go ahead and duplicate this on the other side because I don't like when there's just one thing on a mug, you have all this space, so I might as well use it. All right, so we make sure that everything is in those lines and then I'm gonna get rid of this as a guide. I'm gonna actually change this to white and then change this lettering to black. I think that with the mug changing to white when we do put the hot water on it, the black on the white is actually just gonna look a little bit better. All right, so now that is looking really good. I'm gonna go ahead and download this. And one thing that I like to do on Canva, since it doesn't let you actually increase that DPI to all the way to 300 what we need, is so I like to go all the way up to 2.5 and that is gonna allow us to download a bigger image. And then when we put it on Printify, it's going to shrink it down, making it more dots per inch. So that's just a little tip that I like to do to get better quality images on Canva. I'm gonna go ahead and download page two of that. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and upload this design that we just made. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and upload that. And then and how we can take a look at the preview and see what this is going to look like. All right, so that is looking really cool. We can see it in more of a lifestyle shot here and all these mock-ups you could use on your own Etsy listing. All right, I think that looks pretty good. All right, so I am back on Printify's catalog and I am going to go back to Home and Living and we are going to look for a tumbler. All right, so on Printify, there are so many options to choose. There's more of a water tumbler, which could be really cool, but I think I want more of a wine tumbler. All right, so I think this chill wine tumbler is the one that I want to use. So I'm gonna go ahead and start designing for that so we can get the size that we need. Again, I'm gonna go ahead and download the size template and take note of how big they want this to be. And then back on Canva, I'm gonna create a new project that's the exact dimensions that they were mentioning they needed. All right, so again, I went ahead and uploaded that template here for the wine chiller. And we're gonna go ahead and put that on. And you can see where all of these sections are on the wine tumbler. All right, so before we even get started, I am going to head over to Sales Samurai again just to do a little bit more research on what we maybe should put as a phrase on this wine tumbler that could do really well on Etsy. All right, so I'm gonna look up St. Patrick's Day wine tumbler and see what we can come up with. All right, so this is giving us a check for a good long tail keyword. There is not too much competition in this. So let's take a look at what products people are selling with these keywords. So let's see, this one, it doesn't even have any text on it. It's just more of a graphic that Irish lips and drinking with my gnomies. That could be a cute kind of mix of that gnome theme with St. Patrick's Day. Okay, lucky and I gnome it. That is actually a really cute one. I've seen those gnomes are doing crazy on Etsy right now. So I think that could be a good mashup of two different trends that we could target. So let's take a closer look at this product. These are all the tags that they used. With researching, I never like to exactly copy what other people have. I'm always gonna just take it as inspiration and then make something totally original, but I do like to use this type of tool for ideas and to figure out what type of keywords and tags I should use in my SEO to be seen or what I should price items at. That's why I love using a research tool like this. All right, so now I'm back on Canva and I'm gonna go ahead and start making our design. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and change this font to something that just seems a little more fitting. So with those gnomes, I feel like it's a lot more women who are buying those types of shirts. So I think I want to do something that's a little bit more girly. I really like this font, Apricots. I think I mentioned on another video that I actually 
sell a lot of products just with this apricot font. Wait, so I'm just changing the colors of that a little bit. And I wanna look for some gnome graphics. So this is something that I might go over to Creative Fabrica for, just download a really cute gnome graphic, or look over here on Canva, or even a place like All Sunsets or All American Graphics. Sometimes they have all sorts of graphics too. And to make these letters stand out a little more, I'm just gonna go put the effect on them of outlining. So this is how I do it, I go to Splice, and then I'm gonna change this to white. And then we want the color of the letters to be black. So it looks a little bit crazy right now, but we're going to put the offset to zero. And then we're gonna to tone down the thickness quite a bit. And then I'm going to change the letter spacing here so that it doesn't have that overlap. All right, so I'm gonna to wanna to check that this is actually not going to be, none of our text or images are going to lead over the edge. All right, so I'm really happy that I did that because now I can see that this guy is just a little too tall. So we are going to take him down just a notch. And then even this word lucky, I think it's cutting it a little bit close. So I'm just going to Put it down a little bit too. All right, now we're gonna delete that and I think it is looking pretty good. All right, so one thing I wanna do is actually reevaluate this design a little bit because it's going to be on white. So I'm gonna change this to white and see how everything is looking and what we're gonna need to change. Although you can see everything, I think I'm going to want to change the color of the letters to one of those green colors. So I'm gonna see if I can find a good green, maybe a little darker than that. All right, so that is looking super cute. Now I'm gonna go ahead and download this and again I'm gonna put my slider up to about 2.5 do a transparent background and then we're only gonna want to do page two okay, so I'm back over on Printify and I'm just gonna go ahead and upload that design that we created that's looking so cute but let's preview it on an actual product very nice so you can see the gnomes on the side very cute and one thing I might actually think about if I was uploading this product is right here so on a lot of the shots that you're going to see you're gonna want to pick one that shows the front so this eye it's almost a little bit hard to read, so you could always go back in Canva and just kind of readjust that line of text so that you're making sure that everyone can see exactly what this says, but I think it looks very cute. I love the little gnomes. So I think this is a great product that someone would love for St. Patrick's Day with those gnomes on it. It's so important on print on demand that you're not leaving any money on the table and taking every opportunity to make more sales and get more products out there. That's why I love creating products for even these smaller holidays because you really can make a lot of money selling in them. If you do want to create an account with Printify, I will link all their information down in the description. It's totally free to get started with them and you're not limited at all with what types of products and designs that you can sell when you integrate Printify with Etsy. If you do want some more ideas on best selling product ideas, especially for a smaller holiday like Valentine's Day, make sure you take a look at this video where I'm sharing my top picks for products that are really going to sell during this holiday. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.